Today is day 99 of 100 days of Webflow. For the past 99 days, I've been making videos about Webflow, features of Webflow, things that relate to Webflow, apps that integrates with Webflow. And it was only yesterday that they decided to release the localization feature. Now, like a lot of us, we've been waiting for this feature for a very long time. Around four years, it's been on the forum. Many people are talking about it all the time. A lot of companies have developed their own applications and actually became successful. And it was just yesterday that they released the localization feature within Webflow. So in today's video, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna translate my website, levelflow.io into Arabic, and I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I do it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, stay tuned on what's gonna come next after this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. Today, we're gonna set up Webflow localization. Now this feature came out yesterday, so I'm not very, very good at it. So bear with me here, but we're gonna try to translate the homepage at least with Webflow localization, translate this to Arabic. So I want this to be in Arabic and in English. Let's see how to do that. Now, first of all, you have to get the Webflow localization feature. Uh, I tried to do it to the free feature. You can set it up, but you can't publish. But in order to publish, you have to get the feature, you have to buy the plan, and then you can go to set it up. So then you will see your plan in the settings. So you go to localize it, you go to settings, you go to localization and here is the localization panel. Now first you will set up your local uh, language. So the, the first locale is your local language, which is English uh, in my case. And then you can save and then you can add more locale. And in my case, I want to add a new locale and it will be Arabic and Arabic standard. And you can set up a display name. So my display name will be Arabic and then a subdirectory for this locale. So it will be slash AR or you can add more as if you want, but slash AR is good for now. And then we're going to enable publishing on this subdirectory and then we're going to save. And now we have both enabled for publishing. So we have the English version, we have the Arabic version. Uh, you can also have this feature, which is URL routing, but this feature is available in the, the plan after. And this helps to reroute your users directly to the language they're using or to the region they're in for the language. So this can be useful if you have a lot of international visitors to your website and you need to give them content based on where they are or give them the language based on where they are. This is very useful. But for now, we're just going to use the regular way with a drop down button. So now that we have set this up, we can see here that we have this toggle here and it has the two locales that we have set up. We're going to go to the Arabic one and you see everything just turned to the to the right. So everything is like right to left now. And that's exactly what we want. Now you can go to each element, let's say are going to, you can go to whatever element here and then you can right click and translate to Arabic and it just translated the, translates that element specifically and you can do that for how many ever elements you want. Or in my case, I just want to translate the entire page so I can click on the page wrapper, right click, translate to Arabic, bam, everything is translated now. Um, now we can just you know look around see if everything is as we wanted and it seems like everything's fine so we can now publish but before publishing we need to set a toggle right so that we can change from the arabic to english so in order to do that there's an element that gives you all a list of all your locales so in my case i want it to be in the drop down menu so i made this drop down menu uh, it's empty right now. So in the drop down list, I'm going to add a new element and that will be the locales list in the under advanced locales list. So this is uh, the new feature or the new element that you can use to have like a drop down, some sort of a drop down or a list of your languages. So if you see here for drop down, you see it like English and Arabic. It's right there. Um, we can style it later on, but for now, let's test this out. So if we publish, 
Now I'm publishing on the staging domain. I just want to see how this is. And then if everything's good, I'm going to release it on the main domain. So you can see here, I can click on language and I can click on Arabic and it just takes me to the Arabic page. Very nice. Everything is the same as it is. It's just the Arabic page. I like it. It's super cool. Go back to English. Very nice. So that's Webflow localization. Super easy, super useful. Now, I haven't explored it much. I'm going to explore more of it and we'll update more tutorials. I'll make more tutorials. Uh, I'm very much interested in the Arabic uh, translation because this is something very tricky and I'm glad Webflow, you know, made it really good in that sense. Change directions, uh, switch the language, uh, give accurate uh, translations. So this is all covered by Webflow and this is amazing. That's the video for today. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, stay tuned on what's left of this 100 days of Webflow journey and of what's gonna come next because I have a lot of cool stuff coming. See you tomorrow.